Hello everyone. This is the question asked in gate 2020 civil engineering set 1. Insert 7 numbers between 2 and 34 such that the resulting sequence including 2 and 34 is an arithmetic progression. The sum of this inserted 7 numbers is. So we have been given with the first and the last number 2 and 34 and within these numbers 7 numbers are inserted in an arithmetic progression and we have to determine the sum of these inserted 7 numbers. So, in order to solve this problem, let us first have a look at the useful data. So, the first thing that we need to understand is what is a progression and how do we use some general formulas based on the progression. So, a progression is nothing but a basically a set of numbers which are arranged according to some definite rule. They have a specific formula to calculate its nth term. So, they are arranged following certain rule and if we know the rule we can determine the nth term of that progression. Now consider this question arithmetic progression is a sequence in which each subsequent term of it is obtained by adding up a constant term to it. That is the difference between two consecutive terms remains the same throughout. So for example if I have a progression something like 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 and so on then each term is obtained by adding a constant term to it that is 2 and I can determine this constant term by taking the difference of any two consecutive numbers so if I take the difference of 7 minus 5 I will get this constant so this is a form of arithmetic progression now the general form of arithmetic progression is a a plus t a plus 2d, a plus 3d and so on where a is the first term and d is the common difference. Also if I have to determine the nth term of any arithmetic progression then I can simply say that the nth term of any arithmetic progression would be a plus n minus 1 times d where n is the number of term the nth term that I want to calculate and d is the common difference. So if I want to find the seventh term then this would be a plus 6t. If I determine the sixth term it would be a plus 5d and so on. Also the sum of n terms of any arithmetic series is given by n upon 2 times a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term. So for example if I have a series like 1, 3, 5 and 7 then in order to determine the sum of this series I can simply say that the sum of the four terms of this series would be 4 upon 2 times the sum of the first and the last term which would give me 2 times 8 which is 16. So let's use this concept and try to solve the problem. Now I have been given with the first term which is 2 and the last term which is 34. And I know that in total there are 9 numbers that are present in this arithmetic progression. So I can use the formula to calculate the sum of the nth term of any arithmetic progression which is given by s of n equals to n upon 2 times a plus l. And if I substitute all the values they can, then I can get the sum of the 9 terms in my arithmetic progression which is 9 upon 2 times the first term which is 2 and the last term which is 34. So this would give me s of 9 as 9 upon 2 times 36 which is 162. Now I have the sum of the first 9 terms or the 9 terms in my arithmetic progression and I need to calculate the sum of the 7 terms that are inserted in between. So all I need to do now is to subtract the sum of the 9 terms from the first and the last term of the arithmetic series which is 162 minus 2 minus 34 which would give me 126. So 126 would be the sum of the 7 numbers that are inserted between the arithmetic series and this matches with option C. So option C 126 is the right answer. Thank you.